What's up guys, my name is Alex, welcome to a new Photoshop tutorial. This is the first Photoshop CC 2014 tutorial of this year and today I'm going to show you guys how to add an outline around an image. It's going to be a really short and simple tutorial because actually that's how simple it is. So first of all, I'm going to start off with those really really basic stuff because I don't want to start with advanced stuff in like episode 1. You guys know what I'm trying to say. So um, I would just say let's jump right into the video. Okay guys, so as you guys can see we're on a Photoshop CC 2014 and uh, I'm, I'm on the 2014 version because this works the best for me. Um, to make thumbnails and all the kind of stuff and um, so basically let's start off with the first um, you know item of the day which is how to make an outline on an image on a picture so first of all I'm just gonna you know load in my avatar that you guys have that you guys see on my profile picture on YouTube and guys don't ask me how to make this or like make a tutorial because I didn't make it I did I have like I have it custom made for me is by someone I'll leave the Twitter of this guy in the description so you guys can tweet him because I didn't actually make the avatar myself so but first of all I'm just gonna show you guys how to make an outline around something so first of all I opened a new project you guys can see 920 by 1080 pixels as a resolution over you know a regular thumbnail basically the resolution of a normal HD monitor I'm just gonna use my avatar you know to show you guys so I'm just gonna drag the avatar in here there we have it so I'm just gonna make this a little bit bigger and uh, to not lose like how it is just hold shift and basically drag up so I'm gonna put this guy well myself actually in the middle right here like this boom as you guys can see there's already an outline and a shadow and stuff but I'm gonna like show you guys a clear another one on top of what you already have the first thing you what you want to do is make sure you want you have your layer unlocked the next thing is you want to right click on your layer options and then what you want to do it says Dutch but you guys can need to you know click on stroke and as you guys can see there's already a stroke around it first of all what you can do next is as you can, if you click on it you can mess around with the size as you can see it's really tall or you can just make it like really thin that's basically how you make an outline you can change the color to any color you like uh, like like red I mean purple blue uh, well, green orange yellow all colors you guys can imagine as you guys can see and it's really that simple guys and I see I see so many people saying like dude just get the brush tool and you know, zoom in a lot and what you what to then to do is just drag an outline around it like dude don't do that because it takes a lot of time and it's not going to be perfect and if you if you have like an image that has like something straight you're not gonna ever you're never gonna make a straight line with your hand you just don't need to do this right clicking on this options and then you click on stroke which is the second option and then you want to mess around with the size as you guys can see you want to mess around with um, the actual color and you can choose if you want to have it like inside you know like this I'll put it like this boom you have it like inside um, it goes inwards as you guys can see, but I don't like that, I just want to have like, or you can also have it in the middle, uh, let's see how that looks, that's actually, yeah, both sides, outside and inside, but I'm just going to keep this on outside, the modes, you can just choose different modes as you guys can see to make it look better or and stuff, but I would, I would just say let this stand, let this on normal, opacity on 100 and just mess around only with the size and the color, that's actually the best thing you can actually do. And guys, as you guys can see, I have those wrinkled, you know, I have some, you know, texture in my lines, that, that's because the, you know, the, the edge of my cap is not completely straight, so that's why I have you know um, like those things on my I don't know like just some texture it's not like a completely straight but if you have like a straight image you will definitely see like a straight line on top of it so that's what it is it is guys you just want to mess around I'm just gonna put myself right here so I can zoom in uh, so you guys can see my face cam so what do you want to do just right click on it actually just click on options and then what you want to do is click online like I said before and then boom that, there we go that's how simple it is guys so I know it's really easy guys I know I don't want to keep them short because I don't want to make a tutorial like how to do this and make a 10 minute video that nobody's gonna, nobody's gonna watch to the end so I just wanted to make this a quick little video like how to add an outline because this is actually how I do it uh, like years actually from now so basically if that's it for you guys if you want to see more of those uh, Photoshop tutorials let me know in the comments and um, that's what easy it is that's the this guys you just want to create an outline and, uh, and just you know um, Put the outline right there and actually you can mess around with the size like I said before. So thank you guys for watching, thank you guys for the continued support and uh, make sure to check out, you know, the other episode I dropped today, Photoshop CC. So thank you guys for watching and thank you guys for the continued support. I want to see you guys actually tomorrow for a uh, Adobe Illustrator tutorial. So uh, make sure to smash the like button and subscribe button if you want to see more. Thank you guys and I'll catch you guys tomorrow. It's me again. Um, I know I, have, I haven't uploaded a video uh, for a while on this channel. You know, all that kind of movies was a great actor uh, the past several months. Uh, basically, uh, some of you may know uh, that I'm a partner with Media Crowd. Let me explain. It's from the comment section down below. So I'm just gonna uh, put this completely random. Thank you guys, and I'll see you guys next week.